All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. We're the brothers from the DC Church. <coughs> I'm the brother Abba Yaba. Uh, Shamaria. Azaria. Kazaba. Yaza. All right, we're coming at you in the spirit of Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakakadash. Of course, we give all praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father, His Son, and the Holy Spirit. Of course, uh, double honor to our elders and apostles of JMS. And Shalom, Wa Barak, and Lavakar, Shia, Sha'ala. Peace and blessings be upon the elect of the nation of Israel. And, <laughs> you know, me and Akin, we're very excited, man, because we see the prophecies that, that we we said are literally, like like the uh, the elder Ariala said, <laughs> jumping out the page, man. Yeah. All right? And what? We got we got a couple words to share to you, man. We told you so. That's right. That's right. That's right. We That's right. told you so. You know why we can say that? Because we actually prophesied what what and we prophesied what the Heavenly Father had foretold our people years ago, and he's actually making it come to fruition, man. Yeah. Grab uh, uh um grab uh Ezekiel 33 and 33, brother. Yep. The, go ahead, go ahead. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Go ahead, speak on it, brother. Mm -hmm. Kind of said what? Lo, um, it will come. Talking about what? Prophecy. And how, how are they going to know that a prophet hath been among them? Because whatever the prophet has been saying that's for to come is here. All right? That's how that, that's how they know a prophet has been among them, a messenger of the Lord. Sure. All right? And that's who we are. All right? We, we carry that message of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh All right? And that message is not pretty. All right? And that, that's how they know it's... It, that a uh, prophet has been among them when, when it's right in front of your face, like a, um, like, like, like even like a flip book, <laughs> a kid's flip book. You, you turn it, and something comes out of the yeah, 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 yeah. It comes out of the page. Yeah, that's what's happening. It's living prophecy. That's right. And this is what validates everything we have been saying before. Mm -hmm. We said that there was going to be a virus. No, we said that there was going to be a, a, a pestilence, as the scriptures had stated. We said that there was going to be a famine. We said that there was going to be chaos. Because the reason why is because the scriptures had said. Right. So literally, uh, grab a brother. If a brother could grab uh, Malachi chapter three, not Malachi, um, Ezekiel chapter three, verse seventeen, Bokasha, because everything we're saying was literally words that was given to us by the heavenly Father. So now we're coming into the time, and this is a, this is a special time. The reason why is because this shows that the elect is actually being sealed. Yep. Okay. The, the things that we've been putting our whole this, this truth which we've been putting our heart into we've been pouring our blood sweat and tear our frustration you know we had to go through tribulation all of that man now the heavenly father is compensating us That's by right. what by destroying america man That's right. That's right. all right hey brothers any brother got anything bring it up go ahead you know uh, grab the priest the priest up our call real quick and another brother bubba kashak grab matthew 13 and 17. But go ahead, bro. Ezekiel chapter uh, 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. He said he made us a watchman. When you look, when you, uh, actually, I'm going to look it up real quick. When you go into etymology, the word watchman, it literally means to stand in front to, and protect. Okay? And that's what we are. We're in the for, we're the forerunners of our nation to protect them from the pen, uh, depending uh, destruction, man. That's right. The Heavenly Father said he has a destroying wind coming to uh, to America, man. That's right. The, the winds, winds in the scripture is recalling, okay? There's spirits that are set up to literally just destroy, man. That's right. Okay? And that's why it's our it's our business, it's our it's our job, okay, to, to warn our people, man. That's right. But every and, and what? Just like uh grab Matthew chapter 24, you know, just like in the time of uh Noah, people was out there uh, uh marrying, <laughs> eating and drinking, living in mirth, you know. Until what? Until the flood came, man. That's right. right. That's the recalling, man. Okay? So go ahead, bro. Con, continuing on in verse 17. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Hear the word at my mouth. Okay? The Heavenly Father is not coming down. And, and Yahweh Shah was already sent, okay? Yahweh is not coming down to speak to the people, man. He does it by way of his men. That's right. All right? If you don't believe me, read in Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. You don't gotta grab. You don't gotta grab it, brother. But the point is that the heavenly Father sends His men to come and speak to the people, man. Yeah. And what they, our words didn't mean nothing to people now, uh, uh, back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then now everybody wants to start panicking, man. Mm -hmm. When the heavenly Father puts one measly, one one measly spirit out there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, talking about compare uh, into comparison of His power, mm -hmm. one small spirit out there as a uh, 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 as a virus, man. It's just one, two. Just one. It's just one. 
and they got people flipping out. Go ahead, bro. You know? <laughs> I was gonna no, say. No, no, I'm saying you can say you go ahead, speak. Okay, so like I was gonna say, you know, like in Chronicles, how the Lord sent his prophets because he had compassion on his people, and what did it say they did? They abused the prophets. Yep. And that's exactly what happened, man. You had people literally out there trying to physically harm us, people spitting at us, literally. Yes. Trying to metaphor this is not metaphorically, by the way. Uh-huh. You know, uh <laughs> spiritually vexing us, you know. Uh, people, you know, showing out, man And then what, people bothering us and, and afflicting us, man And then now, now that the judgment's coming People are like, oh shit, these dudes wasn't lying You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is uh, Revelations 19 and 10 And I fell at his feet to worship him And uh -huh. he said unto me, see that thou do it not I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai yep. Worship the heavenly father For the testimony of Yahweh Shai Is the spirit of prophecy see. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, yeah, if I, I was going to say, because the brother even mentioned Yahweh Shai doesn't have to physically be here. And why Why is that? Because the spirit is dwelling upon his people. Specifically what? The service of the prophets. Yes, yeah, right. So it's Yahweh Shai's time now. Remember, Shai yeah. said that recently. You know, it's Yahweh Shai's time. Why? Because the spirit of prophecy. Yeah. It's throughout the whole world. The whole world is feeling it. And they're in, what? They're in fear. That's right. All right. But what? His man that has been waiting for him for, for decades and centuries, mm -hmm. they're, 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 being, uh, they're rejoicing. You know, they, they feel it coming. Yeah, if a brother had that Matthew 13 and 17 bubble kashad. Actually, y'all is all break it up. Yeah, come. This is uh Matthew 13 and 17 it says, For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see yep. and have not seen them. Uh-huh. And to hear wow. He says, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Exactly. Our forefathers was dreaming of living in this time. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You can, you, uh, what's it called? Acts the first chapter. They, they told Yahweh Shah, they was like, yo, you coming back to, to redeem Israel now? Right, right, right. Yeah. It was, we was eager, man. And those same spirits that was there with Yahweh Shah are the same spirits that you see again actually uh, doing the same exact thing. That's right. Reason why, because the scripture say the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets, man. Okay. And those are the men out there giving you the truth. That's right. Okay? And we literally, I mean, how this thing is playing out, it's, I mean, it's, it's like almost, it's, a it's, plan. it's crazy how pinpoint the Heavenly Father made us, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We literally say, I, and now we prophesied, weeks prior to, to uh, what's it called, this, this coronavirus, mm -hmm. you know, taking over the way it did, we say, yo, <laughs> and Kassab been saying this ever since we was a G and knife, man. Yeah. <laughs> this way before the coronavirus. You know? He said there's gonna be a big airborne uh what's it called? Airborne <laughs> pandemic or sickness <laughs> that's going to send uh, America down the shithole, man. <laughs> and what you see now, man? Hey, call me out Australia, yo. Go ahead, bro. Or did you want to jump ahead, bro? that you finished with Matthew uh, 13 and yeah, 17? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, actually, let this brother yeah, have yeah, some. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Throw it out there, man. This is um, this is Isaiah chapter 42, verse verse 9. He says, Behold, the former things are come to pass. Uh -huh. And those are talking about the old prophecies, like the flood, 70 AD, slavery, everything that already happened already in the scriptures regarding prophecy. Right? That's right. It says, <clears throat> And new things do I declare, these are the prophecies that yet to come to pass, okay? Like the RFID just being mandatory. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, World War III, the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, we're in the midst of quarantines, but it hasn't hit the, uh, the climax yet. Yes. You know, where uh, the scriptures say, a man shall desire to go into the city, and shall not be able. Absolutely. We're getting into them times, and these are the um, times of the Lord, and these are the things the Lord said was going to happen. All right? It says, it says, before they spring forth, meaning before they actually happen, all right, we're about to see what the Lord says He's going to do. And he says, "What?" He says, "I tell you of them." Uh huh. You know, and that's only right. That makes the Lord righteous, man. To tell you before it actually happens, so the, you know, the, so to speak, it's, it's off Him now. It's on you. Yes. Whether you take uh, heed to the uh, the calling or take heed to the, the warning, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You was going to say something, Azar? Now I was looking at uh, I was over here in Proverbs. Uh, uh, one in uh, twenty. It says, oh, yeah. "How long, we simple ones, will you speak up? Speak up, brother. It's a lot." This is Proverbs 1 and 21. It says, How long will ye simple ones, uh, will ye love simplicity? Yeah, and the scorners be like, and they're scorning. That's, that's and right. Knowledge. That's right. That's and as you see what's going on, you've been hating knowledge all this time. Yeah. Now look what you're doing. You're scrambling like roaches, yeah. you know, trying to put yourself together. <laughs> yeah, still you know, making wrong we've been decisions. telling you, and you're still <laughs> making the wrong decisions. You, you don't have no faith if you run into the stores, you know, water right. and toilet paper. That can't help you in the time of coming out. Yeah. And this is, this is really the time to where you're really going to see 
the men of the Lord shine. God, no? God. Go ahead, grab that, brother. Oh, all right, so no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You're really going to see the men of the Heavenly Father shine, man. All right? Yeah, Salak, but this is, go ahead, read that again, brother. Come, this is, uh, uh, let me go back. Salak, this is Proverbs uh, 1 and 22. It says, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? And that's, listen, it's only but so much times the Heavenly Father is going to warn you of the things to come. Okay? It's only but so much times we're going to go out in the highways and hedges and prophesy. You have to understand, the Lord is about to put a famine on the word. Yep, yep, yep. Okay? This deadly serious. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, you like I said, when we always go into famine, it means a lack of resource of something. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. So, the, you know, part of the resource yeah, yeah. of hearing the words of the Heavenly Father, all right, is what? Having his men out there in the highways and byways teaching the word, but then the scripture says, what? And I believe it's in Ezekiel that the Lord's going to have our tongues cleaved to the roof of our mouth, and we should not be a reprover yep. to our people no more. Uh -huh. You know? Why? Because what? They didn't want to hearken unto the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that time is coming where what? The Lord's going to shut us up, you know, so to speak. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're not going to be reproving, rebuking, correcting our people for the wickedness that they've done because we've done it for uh, for so long, man. You know, starting off with our apostles, and that was a great millstone to the men on down, man. And know? on top of that, we're going to have to be pilgrims, man. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah. That time is coming. We're, we're closer, yo, uh, what's it called? Romans, Roman, if a brother could grab Romans chapter 13, verse 11, Baba Kasha. <laughs> this, Baba Kasha. And, um, this is uh, another one. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse, uh, yeah, I'm saying Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 7 through 9. And it, and it reads, it says, Nevertheless, hear thou now the word that I speak in thy, ear, in thy ears and in the ears of all the people. So this was spoken in the ears of all of Israel, man. Uh -huh. right, this is the same thing that's going on right now. All right, and what did the Lord say? It says this. It says, it says, the prophets that have been before me and before mm -hmm. thee of old mm -hmm. prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Verse nine. It says, the prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass. Which you're seeing the words of the prophets coming to pass right now, man. You know? It says, When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the the prophet be known that Yahweh have sent him. And we're being known that Yahweh Bashimao Shai have sent us, you know, the true service, man. Because we were reading uh second uh, Chronicles twenty and twenty. Right, Je uh, uh, Jehoshaphat told Israel to believe in Yahweh Bashimel Shai, and he shall be established. Which established means stable, okay? To be made stable, the mind, uh, stable on the mind. But then right after that, he says, believe in his prophets, his prophets, man, yep. the ones that were sent. All right, and he said, he shall prosper. Why are you going to prosper? Because everything that the Lord said that was going to happen, all right, the prophets are saying that, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so by default. They're going to come to pass because they're faithful and true. That's right. And if I could say this also, like, there's there's just so many eventful things that's going on just because of the coronavirus. Yeah. Like, now you're having, um, <clears throat> you're having certain places have to shut down. And on top of that, we have uh, um, the NBA, their season is uh, is uh, shut down yeah. or it's canceled. The yeah. MLB. You know, and school, they're, they're out, uh, uh, children are out of school. Yep. Yeah. Hospitals have to prepare for um, a mass amount of people uh, coming in. They have to. They uh, now they have to ration food. You know, you can't just go to your uh, local grocery store and buy uh, seven cases of water. Your preservatives are coming to a uh, coming to a lower amount when you go. You know, your your your, your cans of beans, your tuna, mm -hmm. your um whatever it may be that's in can, uh, that's in cans or frozen foods, man. All right, and then on top of that, your job. Uh, what's it called? At, at the uh, at, at Lucky. Also at work, they're taking they're taking heavy precautions too, man. Yep. All right, and I I just and, and I'm putting this through the spirit, man. I pray that this actually happens. I feel like the government's gonna shut down, man. Yep. Huh. I feel yeah, like we're absolutely. not too far yeah. from a governmental shutdown. Yeah, Go ahead, bro. The speed just said that because I was literally about to say, remember what happened last year? In the beginning of the in the, in the beginning of the year, what happened? The government shut down. Yep. yep. And what the people were oh like, yeah, losing, yeah, yeah. You know, people are basically losing their minds. Why? Because mm -hmm. they couldn't work. You know, they ended up couldn't pay bills. 
Yeah. And brother said they already passed a bill where they're not gonna basically give you uh, money to pay your bills, man. Uh -huh. and stuff like that. Uh, uh, so uh, these things, yeah, 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 pay sick leave, man. Because yeah. you, know, you know Jake, they're like, well, if I can't go to work. Well, um, you know Jake like to take advantage of things, man. So yeah. you're not gonna get paid with, uh, to uh, call out sick, man. So uh, well, well, actually, no, they they had to work, but they still wasn't getting paid. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh yeah, they still had to work. <laughs> See that? And then they paid them like three weeks later. Yeah. You know that? So that, that shows you, man, this this system is is, is truly corrupt, man. Uh, you know, but this is uh, the same system that these people trusted, man. Uh, uh, another thing is, um, because at that time I was getting a uh, getting a job, just uh, so to speak, just get this testimony, mm -hmm. and I, it took um, that same amount of time, mind you, the job I was getting was not uh, government related, mm -hmm. but because when you apply for an application, you get your social security number, mm. and that's through the funding through the government, uh, you cannot get hired, so to speak. Uh, oh yeah, you know. Uh, so, you know, relating that all the way back to now, you know, if the government can shut down, people can start losing their jobs. So you try to apply for a job, it won't go through. If you already have a job, the place will uh, say say they can't come there because of this virus. And because a lot of factors that's going on, you see the, the economy uh, collapsing, falling by thousands of points. A oh day, hell yeah! You know, a lot of things is going on. Uh, uh, Transpiring right before our eyes, you know, and this is just the beginning of sorrows as the scripture said. Well, the brother had put it on the chat that lady that works at um, uh, Department of Justice, um, mm -hmm. uh, one of those uh, government buildings, was basically saying that uh, America is pretty much about to go on a, a nationwide quarantine. Yeah, yeah. Where all of these companies, they're going to have to send their employees home, man. Yeah, you yeah. know, and, then, and then that's going to take us back to the fever regions, man. Yeah, yeah. But you have a precept, go ahead, bring it yeah, too. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that, he may, right. run, that he may run that readeth it. You know? And um, the, who's, the, the ones that are running are what? When you go to the parable of the, 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 uh, the, the, the ten virgins, you know, you got the five foolish and the five wise. Uh -huh. and the five wise the, the five wise are the ones that, that read the vision and they ran with it, man. And if I could just say mm -hmm. this real quick. You Americans are the most moronic fucking people in this world, man. Yes, uh, yes. Your yes. preparation is all wrong. <laughs> yeah. Your preparation is completely wrong. Okay. Preparation starts in the spirit, man. Right. Yeah. Yep. He's, and that's why, bro, we're going to see how good Jesus go. Jesus going to be to these Christians, man. Jesus, bro. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Yo, Jesus. it's like our preparation starts in the spirit. And that's what's going to keep us sane. Yep. Anybody knows in a bad situation, the first thing you don't want to do is what? Panic. 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 Yep, that's what niggas <laughs> doing. But the first thing niggas do is panic. Yep. Yeah. It's like, like it, this is this shows, and it shows, the government has, he, like Esau has you niggas by the fucking balls, man. Like literally. Yep. Uh, any, way, any way he wants you to maneuver, he's going to make you move that way, yeah, yo. Yeah. Yo, and it, and it only takes a scare. Like, this could all just be media. Yeah. This could all literally just be media. They could just be making up all this shit, man. Mm -hmm. But what? Niggas, niggas fall for anything. Yeah. That's why, this, yo, uh, brother grab uh, Isaiah chapter 33 and 6. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, man. It's Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. This means in a time where everybody else is panicking, you're with you, you yourself as a man of the heavenly father, as you claim, you need to refer back to your wisdom and knowledge that you've been storing up for that time. That's right. Okay. That's what keeps you a man stable is the knowledge and the trust that he has in the heavenly father. If you truly trusted in the Lord, you wouldn't be panicking, man. That's right. That's right. The Lord's going to protect us regardless of what happens, man. Right. And you got to believe that. Yeah, that's right. All right. Now, can we say something? Because it says the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability. Like I said, we go to Second Chronicles twenty and twenty. Yahweh Shapat told <laughs> Israel to what to believe in Yahweh by Shem Yom Shai, and right. he shall be established, which means to be made mentally stable. Man. That's uh, right. Uh, so the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures, which we know, wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Joel twenty eight and twenty eight. All right, through the fear of the Lord and the knowledge of these scriptures, all right, we're gonna be made stable. We're gonna know what to do and what not to do. Exactly. Right? We're gonna know to trust on him and not go to Esau. Mm -hmm. That's right. We see, we see the voice that woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. Oh, yep. You know, mm -hmm. so you're gonna trust in this government, 
and you trust in a Esau, Edom, the one who backstabs you in the first place, the one who picked you in slavery, are right, you going to be destroyed because he's going to destroy you, man. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, finish that out. Yeah, Con. Oh, you oh, Salah. Oh, Salah. No, go ahead. Let, let the brother finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, this finishes out this uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Mm -hmm. you know, what, why do you treasure the Lord, uh, Lord's uh, fear? Because those that fear Yahweh Shema Shai, he's going to camp around them, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to have the angels uh, around about that man, you know. Mm -hmm. That's like another thing for treasure. What is the treasure, man? Something that you hold dearly towards you, man. Oh, that's the his, that's his spirit that you said that, too. Because uh, uh, the scriptures, which you just quoted, is in Psalms. It's like, I forgot where, but um, it says, uh, uh, the spirit. Basically, essentially, angels kept around them that feared the heavenly fathers. Right. But that goes back to the, 34, like, 34 and 7. Yeah. 34 and 7 to water, you know. But that goes back to what I was saying as far as, you know, the the uh, the, the, um, the, the virus being a spirit. Yeah, that's right. that's right. We're protected, and that's the thing. That's why I say your preparation is all wrong. Yep. Because if you're preparing, you have that. If we, we Lord's will, we got that to water, man. That's right. That's okay? Right. okay? And that's why when those, when those spirits, which the virus is a spirit... Mm -hmm. All right, when it comes your way, it's reflected by the the, uh, the, the why you have, man. Just like in a Passover, yeah, <laughs> we got the we got the lamb's blood, man. That's right. All right, we, that season. we got we got the sauce, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got we got what's right to be, to survive in the time, man. You know, yeah. you finish you finish with that. Yeah, I was just gonna say, and then give you know that it's no coincidence. This is happening Maybe during the time yeah. of, of the feet of the feet of unleavened bread. Yeah. Yep. You know, right after the Passover, the Lord right started, you know, making things happen, making you know, uh, even, whether if it's you know, like the like brother said, whether it's true or just to scare people into uh, into a uh, panic, you know, to really show uh, these people that things are going on, whatever happened, the Lord has it going on. If these things are really happening. Like 200 people in 24 hours dropping dead in Italy, you know, mm -hmm. and having you know having the same thing as uh, Lord's will come to America. This is all just showing like the power of the Lord. We just got done uh, 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 taking part of the Passover, man, the Passat, and what did all brothers throughout the, uh, throughout the four corners of the earth do on that night, man? Mm -hmm. Set up the curses, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. we set up the curses, man. And look, shit's happening, man. That's same right. thing with uh, uh, the the the. Uh, the new year, man. Mm -hmm. What happened? Yeah. Brothers all throughout the full corners of set up the curses. And what happened like two days later? Uh, Donald Trump shot, uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, he had uh, killed the leader of Iran, man. Yeah. You know? This is all because what? The men of the Lord are signing the crimes to Yahweh. That's, right. That's, that's right. right. that's right. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Go ahead, bro. All right. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Which the visions are the prophecies, mm -hmm. all right? And what's what's those prophecies? The, the pestilence, that's one of them, because that's the hot topic right now, so we're going to stick to that. But it said, and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it, which is exactly what we have been doing. We've been literally out there breaking it down to a T, all right, to the point where it's like, if you don't get it, it's because they don't want you to get it, because we're simplifying it that much. And the ones that are running, you can answer say? No, nah, go ahead. Finish so it I was going to say, because the, the ones that are running are the ones that took heed to the word. All right, maybe they're not even uh, be uh, prophesying now, but they're what? They're people who took heed and said, to, and they started to put that fear of the Lord within them, and believers, basically. That's right. You know? That's right. I was just going to say, um, just a quick piece of information. One of Esau's strongest weapons is media. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. We, the Heavenly Father has allowed us to use his strongest weapon against him. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And yeah. that's essentially what's consuming Esau. Because now it's undeniable that we're the, we're the Hebrew Israelites. That's just That's right. undeniable. That's right. We've already done enough research to, to convince anybody, yeah. you know? So now Esau understands that he needs to take higher measures and, and, and a more precaution against that. That's right. That's right. Because really, it's a battle against uh, it's a battle against good and evil. That's right. Okay. And, and really, that's what it's, it's falling down to. Mm -hmm. And Esau understands that some of the elect is in America. <laughs> and really, all this whole thing is just made up for the elect, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's why these prophecies are coming to happen. They're, they're starting to happen. That's why the vision, the vision was written on, uh, is made plain upon tables, man, mm -hmm. for the elect. That's right. So that when they run and they when they read it and they run, 
they're getting back to the heavenly father and what he sent it he sent his son back man that's right, that's right. all right and now we're actually in a time to where your shot is closer than ever before man that's right and that's why these prophecies are happening so so vastly and so heavily man yeah yo bud what's yeah. like i'm not nice call too yeah because i'm gonna let y'all i'm gonna let y'all do your thing yeah, yeah. yeah. have a quick two and three and he, uh and i want to read to four all mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. real quick so it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time, right? Because the prophecies were set for a specific time, exactly when Yahweh Hashem Yahushai wanted the prophecies to fulfill and take place, right? It says, because uh, the vision was, was yet for an appointed time, so the, the, the prophecies that the Lord said were going to happen, they're set for a specific time. We don't know when, uh -huh. we just know that He wanted them to be set for a specific time. Yep. Check this out. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Mm -hmm. And that's how we know we're at the end, because we read what we ate the roll, we're yeah. eating the roll, yeah. we see the prophecies, now we're actually seeing them right in front of us, instead of just reading it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's right in front of you. Mm -hmm. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie, which is not lying. That's how you know we're at the end, man, because it's speaking really loud, man. Yeah. And, that, and that's making our faith flourish, man. And we trusted in these words before they even happened, and now we're seeing these words come to life. Physical form. Yeah, yeah. Uh, real quick, though it tarry, wait for it right. because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Yeah, uh, I want to finish out with. The, oh, so long. No, I was just gonna say, man, all the things we've been speaking about, pestilence. Yep. That ain't tarry. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> <Mark> <laughs> the beat. Yeah. That's not tarry. <laughs> it's, it's happening. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? All the things that we've been speaking of, man. Yeah, yeah. Real quick, it said uh, Habakkuk two and four. Behold, and uh, now. This is about to go into uh, uh, basically Esau. Mm -hmm. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Mm -hmm. All right, and we know Esau because when you, I'm not gonna read, I'm not gonna read the whole chapter, obviously, but you know when you keep reading on, it speaks about the things that he wants to do, man. Mm -hmm. He wants yeah. to fulfill his enterprise. He wants to chip everybody. Absolutely. He wants to. Uh, Bill Gates wants to wipe people out. Uh -huh. You know they might be doing it by way of this virus. If it mm -hmm. is what it really, if it is doing what it's truly, what they truly say it's doing, mm -hmm. all right, then that's just another. That's one of his uh, his devices, man. Absolutely. And. Now the rest of the verse, but yeah, this is for the elect. But yep. the just shall live by his faith. Yeah. You know, cause what? Uh, uh, cause we see that Esau is being lifted up, and his soul is not upright in him. Man, he's wicked. He has all these devices. He has all these things that the Lord forewarned us about. Uh -huh. But it says, but the just shall live by his faith. We just read Isaiah thirty-three and six, man. Absolutely. All right, the just man. All right, the righteous man. The righteous man, the Lord, gonna live by by faith in Yahweh Shai. That's right. Uh, but, you know? Oh, come. Now, I just had this one in uh, Proverbs real quick. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 3. Uh, Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 3. It says, through wisdom, a house is built, and by understanding, it is established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Mm -hmm. Which those are the things that we're storing up right now. Mm -hmm. So that when, when all hell breaks loose, this is going to be the top commodity. This is going to be the top stock mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. that these people are going to want is the truth. Yep. And that's why the scriptures say what? In that time, all right, that's when you're going to have what? That famine of the word, man. You know, and they're going to be looking for the men of the Lord. Right. Hey, brother, can you read that one more time, brother? Yeah, come on. Yep. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 3. It says, through wisdom is in house build it. All right, you know, like I said, I always like to go back to the basics. Like I said, wisdom is to fear the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. that is wisdom. All right, can you read, bro? Yep. It says, and by understanding, it is established. And the scripture say, to depart from evil is understanding. Mm -hmm. You know? So from the fear of the Lord and depart from evil, what's going to happen, bro? Yep. It says... Uh, and by knowledge um, shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Wow. Like the Lord said what? That, that the fear of the Lord is your treasure, man. You know? Yes. We're, yes. we're stacking yes. up treasures in heaven, man. That's and right. We're constantly fearing the yeah. Lord, dealing with the Lord, delights in. And it's like a spiritual bank account, man. Yep. Each, you know, uh, righteous deed that you do, that's like you put in money, you know, uh, into, into your bank account. Man. Oh, absolutely. Kind of, no, because the scriptures actually say that the uh, the Lord is not for... Uh, um, the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Uh, you know, so every every uh, every deed that we've ever done, the Heavenly Father still remembers that, man. And especially for the men of the Lord. The men that didn't turn back to the world. The men that actually persevered through all the tribulation that he's been giving them. You know, or that we've been getting in the spirit, I'll say, rather. You know, we persevered through all that. And now what? It said that we're going to receive that treasure, which that's our compensation, man. And what? Another thing that feels amazingly awesome is telling somebody, I told you so. That's right. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. That's the best feeling in the world, man. 
If somebody, somebody getting zapped by the missiles, somebody getting zapped by that spiritual fire coming down from the chariots, God. and we like, yo, we told you, motherfucker, so, man. Hey, man. The scriptures say one of the chiefest joys of men is to see the downfall of his enemy. Right. Right. So, on, man. Man. All these people that have been coming up against the men of the Lord, they going to see, man, in that day that what we were saying was true. That's God. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. Well, I can read this last verse. Oh, yes. oh no, no, no. Go ahead, bro. Yo, hey, you know, what do we, like I said, what do we say when we say curse, man? The Lord bring evil judgments, deaths, and destruction upon Esau, yep. the heathen, uh -huh. and our enemies, man. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. and the Lord is doing that right now, and, and it's all like starting with a scare, a shakeup of people. Yep. And then, you know, when people are scared, they do irrational things. Yep. All right. You know, but you know, ultimately, you know, uh, with the elect of the nation of Israel, they're not going to be scared. Why? Because they trust and believe. The Lord made a promise mm -hmm. to, to those that if you if you trust in him, if you fear on him, if you fear him, and if you call upon his holy name, he will never forsake you. That's, That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because right. right. it's uh Proverbs chapter 24 and uh verse 5. It says, A wise man is strong, mm -hmm. yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. Mm -hmm. So this is what we look to, man. All right, we don't look to uh arm up with guns right. and get uh 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 uh, what do you call it? Bulletproof garments. Fringes on a on a on a bulletproof vest. That's not what we're looking for, man. Gotcha. You know, our strength is in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and we understand that this is what's going to lead us in that time. This is what's going to be our stability, yes. our foundation. God. All right, go ahead, Adar. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. That Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not mm -hmm. ignorant of his devices. That's right. Mm -hmm. I remember the brother was recapping um, basically what, what happened in this whole 2020 thing, and it, it was rightly uh, coined by Iolus and Apostles uh, the year of prophecy. Absolutely. Even it might have been uh, late 2019. I can't remember the date, but even with what happened in Jersey with Esau putting that um, defaming the Hebrew Israelites. Propaganda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the propaganda. So mm -hmm. and that that whole thing was a ploy. And I remember the brother even read in Habakkuk that. Uh, um, the second chapter that we're, we're dealing with the slimy snake. All right, this this dude might um not, yeah I mean he got um <laughs> he might have gotten uh, even sleeper agents um to even spread the virus. We saw um even earlier um uh, the, the past week we saw a video of a mobite you know uh, cough, purposely coughing on a, um, elevator panels. You know, Yo, what, what's that? God, one? God, the brother God. sent. I think it was you. Did you send that in the chat? It was a picture of a uh, a Jake that worked at the um the airport and it had Corona on oh, yeah, the box. Yeah, that, that was on. Yeah, that was one of my. Uh, the spirit of my own boys, you know, on, on social media, the people were saying things and happened to the spirit. He said that and I have to be, I happened to be in a group text of oh, that. Wow, right, and right. He, I, at first, I didn't know what he, what it was going, but the spirit told me like looked, and I looked on, on the box that he works at the airport. He's taking this uh, cargo off the ship, off the planes. It said Corona, big giant box, man. Who knows what it could be, man? It could have been, you know, like, uh, but no. It's all the spirit though, because as soon as uh, he said that, two days later, they, they uh. Uh, did a state of emergency in North Carolina, man. Wow. Yeah. Two days. Hey, call Lord. Like, like, yeah, go ahead, bro. Uh -huh. yeah, I, 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 I want to get to really back to Isaiah 33 and 6. You know, with these people actually believing that, because uh, of course our faith and our stabilization is even foreknowledge of that mm -hmm. this is happening. That Even that brings comfort. But the, for the rest of the, like the brother mentioned, the simple American, <laughs> unfaithful ass Americans, uh, okay. their, their, their stabilization is Esau and fucking toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with no, with no food. And water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is um, Wisdom of Solomon um, 2 and 24 says, Nevertheless, through envy of the devil mm -hmm. came death into the world. Uh -huh. And they that do hold of his side do find it. And you see all of our people taking the side of Edom Esau. Mm -hmm. Anytime you keep running to these stores trying to get what you need and you're not depending on your Hawaii side. So what are you gonna you gonna find? You're gonna not you're gonna find death. That's, That's right. what Esau That's is all about. He's That's about true. death. He's not about life. Yeah, no. Hawaii is about life. And That's you right. know what? This really just shows how much the average American depends on the government. Mm -hmm. And hey. that's exactly where Esau wants you. I mean, he has you exactly where the hell he wants you. Your, your sole dependency is on the government. So what? That means when they stop having these, uh, what's it called? These freight trucks coming coming to uh, drop off food or drop off supply to Walmart, then what? Or your local grocery store, then what? 
And then he tells you, hey, you got to take a chip in order to get the, uh, what's it called, in order to get some food. Mm -hmm. Then what? Yeah, you're yeah, not absolutely. even mentioning government benefits, like yeah, housing, yeah, section yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. food stamps, yeah. all of that stuff. About to be cut off, man. That's why the scriptures say they shall lament for the teats. When you look up that word teats, it goes back to nourishment. Just like how a woman, uh, uh, of her breast, she gives that what? She gives the, the breast milk, the teats. She gives that nourishment. Kind. So that's exactly the same thing with these people, man. Once those things get cut off, they're going to start lamenting. All right? Mm -hmm. If I could bring that out real quick. Mm -hmm. There's um, Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 12. It says, mm -hmm. they shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, and for the fruitful vine. Mm -hmm. So those are all your commodities, all right, that brothers have been mentioning, your toilet paper, mm -hmm. all right, your, your average daily things that people use, you know, toothpaste. No, people aren't going to have these supplies, man. You know, and I, I heard right now, even at Costco, they doing rations, man. Mm -hmm. They doing rations because you got people going in there, racking up on the waters, racking up on uh, on the uh, 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 paper towels, the hand sanitizer. That's that's damn near non-existent now. Yep. Can't even find hand sanitizer. Let me say something, man. If, yeah. you, if you think that Black Friday fighting is bad. Uh, yeah. 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 It's not even a scarcity during that time. Everything's there. Yeah. 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 So how much more? Yeah. 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 Think about it. Like, people yeah. are fighting over laptops, TVs, things that are not really essential for life, man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But now we're talking about things that are essential for life. How much more? That's why the scripture said that a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, man. Yeah. You know, you get this all these things gonna happen. What for a lack of bread and tribulation, man? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures is literally speaking to us, and we're seeing it happen, man. Yeah. You know, it, it's just like different levels and layers of it. Remember, like I said, we're just at the beginning stage. Yeah. Scripture said the beginning of sorrows. You know, the beginning of uh, uh, death and destruction. Yeah. You know, this is just a little small increment, and we're about to see Lord's will. You know, uh, it heightened even more and more as the day of the Lord uh, comes. Yeah, the yeah, no. things that's happening right now are the tokens. That's yes, right. The tokens uh, of what's to right. come. That tokens mean what? The proof. That's, that's right. the proof, man. Mm -hmm. You see that? And, 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 and like the brother was mentioning, uh, uh, Salaki, um, damn, Salaki, what you just say, bro? You oh, say that man, one more time? About like the Black Friday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Black Friday. Yeah, Black you know, like, like the brother was mentioning, <laughs> Salaki, I just had, you know, my... You know, you think of something and it, and it slips your mind kind of quick, yeah. you know. But um, these people are going to be, be fighting, man. You know, these people are going to be fighting over uh, uh, things that are essential, man. Yeah, you yeah, know, because yeah. at that time, it's going to be in full-out survival mode. Mm -hmm. Dog eat dog. Yeah, now yeah. it's, oh, my kids got to eat, your kids got to eat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what you going to do? Kind. You know? Yeah, there's been brawls already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Said, a quick one. All right, so. Oh, so, nah, so nah, bro. Yeah, if I can get this real quick. Uh uh, second Ezra 5 and 1 it says nevertheless as concerning the tokens oh, yeah. behold the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great, great number, number. Ooh. Ooh. and the way of truth shall be hidden oh my and goodness, the land man. shall be barren of faith you see that <laughs> and, and that's where we living in right now man that's getting ready to height uh -huh. alright and it said what that truth is going to be hidden man all right, we're not going to be out on those highways and hedges like we are every single week. That's right. right. That's right. It says, but iniquity shall be increased above mm. that which thou now seest, or that which thou hast heard long ago, and the land that thou seest now to have root shall be wasted suddenly. Mm. All right. And that's that's going to happen first, uh, first and foremost, you know, uh, uh, spiritually amongst that's these right. people. Man. That's right. You know, they're going to lose their wits. All right, <laughs> yo, Esau is losing his whole pride morale, man. Like, his whole pomp is just done with. He sees America going down. And, yo, this place, like, the whole spirit of Esau is taking huge L's, man. Yeah. <laughs> if we said that, we said, man, we we prophesied the downfall of Esau and his kingdom, and now we actually see it happening, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, we're going. Oh, go ahead. You have precept? Yeah, I have one. Just to switch it up, switch gears with it. Uh, to talk about what you were just saying because Esau taking them L's that's why uh, Revelation 12 is 12 therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil which we know it's talking about Esau Edom he's the devil which devil means deceiver is come down unto you 
having great wrath uh -huh. because he know it, know it that he hath but a short time. That's right. Because mm -hmm. you know Esau seeing his kingdom go down, we know how prideful Esau is, man, and we always see how the prideful villain reacts when he sees himself going down. He's like, well, I'm gonna take y'all with me. You know that's Esau's mentality because that's what he, that's actually what he's trying to do. Misery love company. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the point with it. You know that um, you know that he had been a short time, so he's gonna try. He's gonna try to fulfill his enterprise. But like it says in Job, when he's about to fill his belly, what the Lord's gonna rain upon him, man. Yeah. You know, he's not gonna be able to 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 chip everybody. All right, the elect are gonna overcome that. Thus say the uh, Revelation, the fifteenth chapter. You know, and, and so on and so forth. Go ahead. Yeah, I was like, because the Lord said that he, what he chose the poor of this world, yeah. rich and mm -hmm. faith. Jumping. You know, so. The elect's faith is being, like I said, heightened at a hot, like I said, that token that the brother mm -hmm. brought out. You know, this is a token to see, see that everything that we've been, been believing in is true. You know, so, so to speak, if you are, uh, uh, to call yourself believing in the Lord and you're panicking right now, it surely, uh, truly shows that you don't believe in the prophecies that the Lord even spoke about. Man. Well, you gotta yeah. heighten your faith, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. We're still in a time to where the Heavenly Father is having mercy on our people. The gates of repentance aren't closed yet. That's right. You know, we still have time. Yeah, right? yeah. Before it gets, before bad goes to worse, I can have to really tighten up. You yeah. know, even within ourselves. And I'm really saying that to myself mm -hmm. because we don't want to be a part of the people that was, that was said to that they told me so. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't want to be in that predicament. You want to be telling them so, not being told so. You feel what I'm saying? So if you go, uh, we're going to end on this precept. Go ahead. Uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Yep. This is uh, Romans 13 and 11. And that, knowing the time that now, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Mm. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Let's read it one more time, brother. Yep. Mm. Romans 13 and 11. And that, knowing the time, now it is high time to awake out of sleep. sleep. That's right, man. Now, and that goes right back to what I was telling, uh, what I was saying, but, um, laying back and off the brother, that the Heavenly Father, he's, he's he's warning us, man. He's showing us through through his words. He's like, yo, look, I told you this before. I'm actually allowing it to happen. We can almost taste the kingdom of heaven, man. Yeah, uh, like, literally, we can almost feel the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is right here, man. And the Heavenly Father is about to have that established and <laughs> I was going to say in this land, but nah, man. He's going to have the kingdom of heaven on earth, man. That's right. All right? And America's going to be fully, thoroughly destroyed. That's right. That's right. Go ahead and read the rest of that. saith the heavenly father, man. That's right. that's right. And we're speaking that into existence. Everything else we spoke into existed, it actually happened. That's right. And that's going to come to fruition too, man. Go ahead, bro. Now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Uh, now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yahweh Shai is literally off the seat about to come mm. save us, man. That's right. All right. Man. And we're patiently waiting for that day. That's right. But we're excited, man. That's right. We're excited to see all these things come to fruition, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, Kwam Yashirala. Kwam Yashirala. Kwam Yashirala. Kwam Yashirala. Kwam Yashirala. Hey, Shalom, Akyam. Shalom. Shalom.